Hey guys, Michelle here with My Designs in the Chaos, where we develop, encourage, and grow your talents and crafting confidence. Tonight, we are going to be making these super cute presents. So they're really easy, um, and you could always end up adding on a tag or maybe like a personalized name um, to them with your vinyl cutting machine, but tonight I'm just gonna show you how to create the base. Let's go ahead and let's get started making these really cool presents. So let me angle you da down and let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, since I already have a red one, I'm gonna go ahead and make the second one a green one. So that way I have um, a complimentary one that I can use for decor. And so I'm just gonna use this um, acrylic paint. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna make a green one so that that way I have one of each and I'm just going to throw some paint here on the canvas and you'll see my canvas has like a little bitty rip in there. This is an old canvas that I had from forever ago. You can absolutely use a piece of wood too. Um, you don't have to use a canvas, but I'm just, this is what I happen to have on hand, which is why I'm using it. Now, when you're painting these canvases, you wanna make sure that you get the sides because you're gonna be able to see the presence and so if you don't get the sides, um, then you're going to, it's gonna look really weird. So I'm just gonna paint through all the sides. I'm just going through, painting each of the sides. And you could do this, like I showed you guys, I have a red one that I already did. And I'm gonna actually take some of this and I'm gonna scoop it back in there. If you get too much, you can always go back and just scoop it back and put it back in your, put it back in your, um, little paint jar um, and so like y'all can see you want to just get on that side get the whole way down so that when you're looking at these presents from the side you can't see all the little parts of the sides and then I'm gonna get the bottom add polka dots or stripes or anything like that too to make it that much more fun and whimsical for the paint itself. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a heat gun to help this dry. And again, we're just helping this canvas to dry um, so that we can move on to the next step. So if you're making a whole bunch of these, you could just paint them as you went, and by the time you're done, they'd all be finished and dry. I like the different shades. It kind of gives it some dimension. Okay, so um, we've got our canvas on there, and that way it doesn't all look so, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? When we're doing this stuff, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so the next thing is, we've got to flip it over and add our ribbon. And I'm going to place it face down like this. I'm just going to take this buffalo plaid and I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue right on the edge here. I'll start it right down here on the bottom. Right on the edge of my canvas and that's where I'm gonna start the ribbon at. Let it dry for a second. Here we go. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull it over like this and that glue is still kind of drying a little bit and I'm gonna trim it, and we're gonna glue it around on the other side. So I'm just gonna kinda pull it so that it's tight enough. You don't wanna pull it too, too tight, but you wanna pull it tight enough where it will give the illusion that it's a wrapped present. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more hot glue right here on the other side of the canvas. There we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna hold that one over. Okay, and then I'm gonna trim this part off. And that's still kind of drying on there. So we've got our first part of our bow. I'm loving that color combination, aren't you guys? 
And like I said, you can absolutely always go back later and you could put vinyl on this. You could put all kinds of like different decorative, um, a saying, you could put a name, you could put like no peeking. There's lots of fun stuff you could add with your cutting machine like in vinyl because this is a canvas. You could paint it or you could put it with, you know, um, HTV or something like that. I'm just making the actual present tonight. Um, you could even cut a little tag out with your machine. Um, there's lots of options there. So I'm gonna trim this part and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We are going to flatten it out and then I'm gonna flip the present over and hot glue it down on this part. you could go back and like it would be cute to add like a second layer of ribbon across that one um, there is lots of fun that there would be lots of fun ideas I mean you could make it um, a smaller ribbon and then a tiny ribbon I mean you know go all out with these presents you you don't have to keep it as simple as I'm keeping it okay so all you have to do is hot glue that ribbon on and then look how cute is this and now what we're gonna do is on the original one that I did, you guys can see I made a little bow on there and I tied it in the middle. On this one, I think I have this little like star from Dollar Tree and I actually think I'm gonna put this in the middle here. So um, I, it's a $1 ornament that I got from Dollar Tree. And so, I mean, how easy is this? And I'm just going to take this and I'm gonna hot glue the back and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. If I can angle this little bell around, here we go. And so I'm just gonna add a bunch of hot glue here on the back. And then you've got this really cute holiday present. Y'all look, how cute. Now I've got myself a little pair of Christmas present decorations that I made with some leftover canvases. So super easy, really fast, and really cheap. Like not a super expensive gift or decoration at all, um, but one that will definitely last from season to season. So thanks you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I appreciate it. And um, if you found any value in this, make sure to give us um, a like, a heart, or a share. And if you end up making a present like this out of a reverse canvas, make sure to show it off. We want to see it over in our Facebook group or show it off here on our page. Um, um, they are so fun to see the projects come to life. Y'all have a wonderful evening and thanks for hanging out with me. Bye guys.